Fortnite has just introduced a brand new boss and he's pretty scary. Brand new map changes you need to see and even new underground location that you may have missed. As always, if you guys want to be gifted absolutely anything from the item shop right now or added to my friends list to be gifted skins every single day, then just drop a like on the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications and just be sure to be using code LUXPLAYS as your support or creator code, then just drop your epics down in the comments. Drop a like in 5 seconds and you'll wake up to 10,000 V-Bucks. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back but this time with a bad guy called Shredder and he can be found right down here. This seems to be a brand new NPC on the island called April O'Neil. She's a character who is a part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab and she is apparently the first human to become a friend to the Ninja Turtles and work with them. But this NPC wasn't actually put here for any random reason. She's been put here as she has a secret that actually hints towards an upcoming event. Her description says nothing phases April, not even four mutated turtles who know ninjutsu. Okay, maybe that phased her a little. But now she's here to help the turtles take down the Foot Clan. The Foot Clan are the bad guys of the Mutant Ninja Turtles world and the leader of this clan is well you guessed it Shredder and it turns out this bad guy is a boss in our Fortnite game right now. Now leakers have uncovered teasers to what the Ninja Turtles part 2 collab is going to involve and as we can see here on the screen we have multiple screenshots and gameplay showing a timer for the arrival of Shredder to our Fortnite item shop for players to actually buy. But right now we aren't trying to purchase Shredder we're actually trying to find him as a boss in our Fortnite game and there's only one place he can actually be. Now if we actually talk to April only right now i wonder what she actually says because i haven't even spoke to her just yet so let's do this she says let's show the foot clan who they're messing with so yes guys once again she is talking about the foot clan and it looks like the foot clan are going to be coming as some type of henchman maybe because obviously shredder's going to be the huge boss so yeah this live event's gonna be pretty interesting but yo, as usual let's take her out and see what mythic weapon she drops oh she's standing no chance she's just pickaxing me oh wow she doesn't even have a weapon well she's not gonna be any good fighting the foot clan is she Brilliant. Now guys, stay tuned because I'm about to show you the location of where this Shredder boss can be found. But first, we have another boss that has just came to our Fortnite island in the most recent update. Right, should be around here somewhere on this strange little island. Hey guys, here he is, Solid Snake. Yo, you kind of look like me, mate. You alright? You, you okay? You look a bit angry. Yeah, where you going? Solid Snake is now unlockable in our battle pass, but not only is he a skin, he's also a boss on this little tiny island over here. And he also sells two very cool mythic weapons. Yes, guys, here's the actual island where you can find him. It's just this tiny little one all the way up here. And yes, guys, if you guys actually actually go up to him, he obviously has a message that says there's no winning or losing for a mercenary, but he also sells a mythic cardable box and also a mythic EMP stealth camo. And here is what them two things actually do. So we're going to buy both of them right now. And here we go. So this one is the EMP stealth camo. So as you can see, boom, I go invisible. But if I actually head over to a player right now, obviously it says EMP in the name. So I've actually head over to some players right here. Okay, I don't know if they've seen me. Yo, have you seen me guys? I don't know. But right, we need to wait for this to run out a little bit. So let's just wait. Here we go, here we go. Right, and then we do this. We stand near a person, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. It hits them with an EMP, which is kind of sick. And then we've also got a cardboard box as well. I don't know if I can... What happens if I throw it at a player? Oh, there we go. Okay, well, yeah, that's what happens. You can kind of just hide in a box. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool, but um, these bots are just finding out where I am right now because they always know where I am. Yeah, we're just going to uh, escape right now and go find that Shredder boss. Let's do this. Right, guys, stay tuned because we are about to go over to the Shredder boss. But first, there's a brand new location on the map that we need to check out. Right, guys, we've just landed at this underground location and you may have already seen this because, yes, it's already in the game. And it's been here since the uh, start of the season, but there's actually some brand new things in here that have just been added in this update that I'm about to show you guys. All right, we're going to open all these chests because we want the best loot possible just in case there's an unknown boss in here that we never saw right guys here we, all you want to do is literally just follow exactly where i'm going and you'll be able to get into this actual location now all you want to do is break this chest here we go break through here we've got to be quick as well because we're actually not in the circle right now so you want to squeeze through here and you guys probably thinking deluxe what the hell this location has nothing in it it just has some chests that's about it well, that's where you guys are wrong. Right, another location. Head through here. Just keep following these torches. Then you, all you want to do is break this rock right here. And then it should open up into a massive underground location. Here we go. Now we can just swim through. And there we go. Now, at the start of the season, I did actually come to this location. And as you can see by the gameplay, it was literally just trees here. But now it looks like the Coral Buddies have actually took over this location and moved into this place. And there is some strange things around here. As you guys can see, it looks like the Coral Buddies have uh, kidnapped this uh, gnome right here. They've put like this uh, wooden thing across him. And it looks like they're all celebrating because they've captured this gnome. Uh, we have some big coral things right here. Like this location actually looks pretty sick. I can't lie. I have a feeling this is going to be a massive 
massive location next season. I feel like there's going to be a bunch more stuff here. We still have the Coral Buddy boat here as well, which is pretty cool. We have some little Coral Buddies dancing their way on here. But yes, guys, this location has literally just been updated in this most recent update. And uh, I can't lie, it's pretty sick. But right, let's check our map. Okay, the Shredder boss is still there. So we do have time to go take him out. So let's do this. But now it's time to find Boss Shredder as we already know his exact location. Since the beginning of Chapter 5, leakers have uncovered a secret Ninja Turtles bunker location in-game hidden underground. The location was leaked and players who hacked the files could see an underground sewer location with green acid flowing under the pipes and also some pizza. But it looks like some Ninja Turtles have been hanging out and also where Shredder is now spawning. Just guys, we are literally at the location right now of where the Ninja Turtles underground bunker is and we are about to go inside right now. Let's do this. Oh, bro, I'm excited. <gasps> Yo, he's actually here. Yo, he actually looks so sick. And you guys are telling the truth. He's literally 10 foot tall right now. And he looks so, so scary. What the hell? Okay, right. Let's take him out. Let's take him. Wait, where'd he go? Y yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, This location. Fortnite actually forgot to update it. This is what it's supposed to look like right now. But uh, yeah, Fortnite messed up. Yes, guys, here's the location where the Shredder boss is supposed to actually be. But as I said, Fortnite has actually forgot to update it. And we are still currently in phase one of this location. Now, here is phase two. Obviously, as I said, leakers have gone into game and actually been able to get gameplay for themselves of what this location is as actually supposed to look like. Yes, guys, we're just going to have to wait until next Tuesday's update to see the Shredder boss and obviously see this location actually change. But for right now, we're just uh, just still stuck in phase one, which is kind of annoying because we've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewers, but we don't have anything else other than some skins. And now what's also cool is that we are going to be getting a brand new mythic that's going to be in some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle styled supply drops. Yes, guys, just, just like the ones we had in My Hero Academia where supply drops would just randomly drop each storm. We're going to be getting the exact same for, but for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I have no idea what the mythic is currently going to be, but maybe let me know down in the comments some suggestions. What do you guys think mythic will be for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? But yes, guys, when phase two actually comes, I have a feeling there'll be a shredder boss down here and some foot clan henchmen, which is going to be pretty awesome. But right, guys, we've got 20 people remaining right now. We might as well just try and get that dub. And I have a feeling as well, Shredder may also be on this little board right here. And shout out to Community Gaming for actually making the concept of uh, the Shredder boss. It looks super, super sick. And I have a feeling that's exactly what Phase 2 is going to look like down here. Also, obviously, the Ninja Turtles will be actually making their way back to the item shop. So as soon as they do actually come back in the item shop, I will be gifting five lucky subscribers the brand new skin. So if you guys do want a chance to win those skins that are going to be coming back very soon to the item shop, they just like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and be sure to be using code Plays as your support creator code then just let me know down in the comments what actual ninja turtle skin you would actually like to get but yeah if you guys want to gifted any of them then i'm um, just follow them rules that i just said oh miss impearly i keep forgetting about you bro yo i don't know where you're gonna be maybe you're gonna come back in chapter five season two i'm not too sure but yeah guys keep your eyes peeled because peerly is still missing on our fortnite island all right we need to get our kills up we've got four kills and we've got 14 people left remaining so uh let's do this boys also this solid snake skin that i'm using right now is actually kind of cool i can't lie it's pretty sick well, we've got some people fighting over here oh my god there's loads of people what the hell why there's so many people here Oh my god, that would have been sick. Oh, you got a gold pump there. Thank you. Bosh, bosh. In a bit, mate. There we go. See you later, mate. Right, who actually uses the anvil launcher? Like, what made Fortnite bring that back, by the way? Because it, it's actually such a terrible weapon, I'm not going to lie. Like, no one stands still long enough for that missile to actually hit them. Like, they would just see the red thing on the floor and then just run off. Like, I don't get it. All right, guys, we've got 11 people remaining right now. If you see anyone, let me know. Or is it just me who, who actually hates guns without suppressors in Fortnite right now? Like, listen to how loud this is. It's, it's so noisy. Like, you have to have a suppressor on your gun, otherwise you can literally hear it across the map. What the hell? Did you guys see that? My screen just randomly flashed black. That was really weird. But it wasn't like a sudden flash. It was like someone closing their eyes. But I'm actually struggling to find players right now. Mate, there's 10 people left. How am I not seeing anyone? I mean, the circle is still pretty big to be fair. Right, let's go in this rift. See if we can see anyone from above, maybe. Anyone, anyone? Oh, someone else just died. Oh, in a bit. Another guy over there. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Right, imagine if these little canoes slash speedboat kind of things actually worked. That'd be so cool. I know we used to have boats before, but these little mini ones actually kind of sick. Oh, four people remaining right now. We've got 10 kills. We're actually not doing too bad. I see some people fighting over there. I see so many explosions going off. My guy's still wearing a Christmas skin. What are you doing, mate? Oh, there's another Christmas skin. What the hell? What the? <laughs> what the hell? That was so glitched just then. He was doing the moonwalk. What the flip? Now, I'm just waiting for that part too, because that's going to be sick. Shredder bosses, brand new henchmen, Ninja Turtle skins coming back to the item shop, brand new locations. Oh, it's going to be sick. All right, let's take out these last two people, and then uh, we've got the dub. I bet he's gone underground. I bet he's gone underground. That's literally just my luck. He's literally there. Oh my god, it was a one tap. <laughs> 
That was sick. Anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.